Hey everybody, Jeff aka G Chris here. How are you all doing this fine evening? It is currently 7:21 p.m. on the 10th of September 2024. Oh my god, I am beat. It was uh, it was a busy day today at work. I'm not going to lie, it was a busy day. And and normally there are days I get home and I I I still feel like I have some energy, but today I'm actually feeling a little bit more drained than normal, but you know that's the, that's the way it is when you you know you work in everything you know like you you you're definitely going to have days that you come home and you're going to be just dead tired and this is one of those days but there was a project that I wanted to do and as you can see I don't even have a graphic I don't even have like the YouTube gifs or anything I I just I started thinking of this yesterday and I just had to get it going I'm, I'll add some fine touches to it through you know later on but uh what I can also do is I can find some uh like YouTube gifts I can add them post uh I can add them post you know editing oh hey here see see right now you don't see anything but oh you'll probably see it after editing but it's gonna be like right here right here right here anyway anyway so basically what I thought I would do ladies and gentlemen I thought I would do I would uh, reply to some comments on some of my videos now you know I like to type in my replies to people. But there's, you know, I figured that there are times I would also like to do an actual video reply on top of the, the comment reply that I do. So, but yeah, so basically this entire video that you're going to be watching is me replying to some people who have left comments on some of my videos. If you did not get your comment replied to, I apologize. It's just that there's a lot of stuff that comes in. And I try to take the mo like the most recent stuff, but do not, do not feel, you know, do not feel bad. I appreciate all the comments that everybody sends. If it's for Transformers, I appreciate it. If it's Unsolved Mysteries, I appreciate it. If it's, you know, my reaction to DSP Gaming, I appreciate it. I appreciate what people have to say. So, yeah, about, you know, with that done, let's actually switch over to here. So, basically, this first batch of comments, it is going to be based, uh, they, they are from my uh, YouTube short. Now, this during this last summer, well, actually, still this summer. Anyway, uh, I started dipping my toes into the uh, into the into the river or ocean that is YouTube Shorts. And normally, I use these kind of videos mainly just to kind of talk about or to uh, you know for Star uh, not Star Trek uh, for Transformers. And I went uh, recently just before work resumed. I started, I was looking for a specific Transformer, and, well, sadly, I cannot find that Transformer that I was looking for, and that's okay. I love the hunt. I love the hunt. Anyway, so this was the hunt for the Studio Series 86 Swoop. So the first comment that came, that, that I uh, screen captured, it is from the Bipolar Express. Now, if you watch the video, you'll know that there was uh, uh, some music in it. And the Bipolar Express said, The theme music sounds like uh, Mega Man with a smiley face. I like the way that you're thinking, Bipolar Express. I really, really do like the way you're thinking. However, I have to tell you that you are wrong. But I like the way, you, uh, way, the way you're thinking. I give you an A for effort. Because I can understand why you thought it was Mega Man. Now, here I'm going to actually play the video here. So and I'll I'll you know since it's my video I'll let, I'll play it all the way through and I'll let people take you know take a few minutes to see what they think it is. Hold on, let's actually go full screen. Oh, that noise? I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, ladies and gentlemen. So, like I said, uh, here is the uh, full video. It's only, a, uh, it's a, it's, I think it's like a minute, but here it is.
Okay, uh, wait, hold on. Ah, I forgot. I forgot it re I forgot that it replays. Okay, anyway. So as you can see at the very end, I did ask if anybody thought they knew what the song was, feel free to leave it in the comments section. And let's turn this off. So by like I said, Bipolar Express, he he guessed Mega Man. And I can understand why he said that. It does sound like something you, you, you could hear on Mega Man. Hold on let me. Not that. Hold on let me. I'm just trying to get this. Apparently it's, was it alt tab? Wait, hold on. Apparently it's not doing anything. I thought alt tab or alt or shift. Roll tab. Oh, fuck it. I thought that you could switch between tabs. Uh, with like, I thought it was like alt tab or control tab or alt shift. Yeah, it's not working. At least, at least, um, it could be a glitch or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, anyway, so I hope I didn't fuck up anything with this recording. I hope not. Anyway, so let's let's actually switch back. So the the song, the song that you actually did hear in the video that I played, it was stage one music from Batman from. Uh, the for the NES here. Let's go full screen, and here is the full song. Okay, so that was that, that was basically the clip of the song. I'm in the description of this video. Uh, I'll actually put it up here in the corner because I'm getting pretty good at doing that. In the corner, I am going to put the link to this very song because I think this is actually one of the cooler songs that was on the N in, for, for the NES library. So with that said, let's switch back over to here. We're going to go to the comments section because. I like to actually also type out my comments when I do, you know, when I want to do something like this. So I am going to actually type this comment right now. So to the Bipolar Express, I like the way you think. Uh, I can understand why you thought it was Mega Man, but wait, sorry. Man, I, I, why I have one word? I don't know. But I had one more, but I, I fixed I fix it. I fix it. Do not give me lip. I fixed it. Anyway. I uh, I can't understand why you thought it was Mega Man. However, it was actually the theme for stage one of, Bat of the NES Batman video. Now, hold on. Let me pull up the link. Uh, let's see your share link because if anything, I'm gonna be nice and give the guy the link that way he can hear it also. Here, wait, here is the link to the song. There you go. And reply sent. There you go. Okay, so that was the comment from the Bipolar Express. The final uh, message from 
uh, or in this video, it comes from Reaver of Souls. Now, I have to fucking say that Reaver of Souls is an awesome fucking name. He, uh, if I remember correctly, I think there's a Diablo uh, DLC or a standalone game for the Xbox 360, which I actually have. Uh, I think it was called Reaver of Souls or Reaper of Souls or something like that. Fucking awesome name. So, yeah, plus five to that name. I like that. He, uh, Reaver of Souls, uh, said, and I quote, Nice. I just caved and ordered Swoop. Came in last week. That Skywarp, Skywarp looks sharp, too. And at which I gotta say, you lucky motherfucker, you got Swoop. I am so fucking jealous. I am fucking jealous. I actually pre-ordered Swoop. God, I think it was like, it was in May. April or May. It was when it first came up on, uh, oh, on Big Bad Toy Store. And it said that it was supposed to release in August. And, and, you know, July came, August came, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to get swooped. Because I got the other Dinobots. I want I want to finish off my collection. Uh, but, yeah, mid-August arrived, and no swoop. August 28th arrived, no swoop, and I was starting working. Sadly, I have to admit, I had to cancel my pre-order for swoop because... Where I live, we have bad a bad epidemic of porch pirates, basically, and I didn't want to risk anybody stealing a a, a, a like a eighty dollar plus you know tax and shipping, you know that that's a lot of money. So I ended up having to sadly cancel my uh cancel my pre order. So I'm hoping that I can actually come across that uh figure on Amazon. They have it on Amazon right now, but it's like going for over a hundred dollars. I'm hoping to catch it when it's a little bit lower, you know. I I'm patient. I'm I'm a patient person. Now, when it comes to Skywarp, when it comes to Skywarp, uh I I I love Skywarp's uh I love his teleportation abilities. However, because I am a snarky asshole and that's what an ex-fiance of mine once said, I I have to be honest, I like Starscream. Starscream is my guy. He's a snarky asshole. You know, so yeah, I I like I like Skywarp also, but but uh, Starscream is like the man for me. Yeah, you know, like. But anyway, so I replied to Reaver of Souls and I said thank you. I was not expecting to find uh, Skywarp, but I do I uh, don't mind grabbing him if I had a chance. You know, like I, uh, you know, why why wait? Why wait for a pre-order to go through if I already had it at the store? Am I right? Am I right? Anyway. Be right back. Okay, so to show you that I, you know, li I like Starscream. Here is Starscream, number 72, Bumblebee the movie. I actually have uh, Skywarp, Starscream, Thundercracker, and uh, Thrust on the top of the shelf behind me. Sadly, the only one I do not have out of these guys is uh, Blitzwing. And right now, Blitzwing is going for so much money, I'd have to sell a left nut for it. And uh, I, I like Blitzwing, but I don't like him this, enough to sell a left nut. But that was the, uh, you know, reply, you know, or, you know, comment from Reaver of Souls. Now, basically, uh, since, you know, I don't want to leave the guy hanging, he replied to my reply four days ago. So I am actually going to reply to him. Okay, so let's do this. And then... Okay. Hold on. Oh, I can actually... Okay. There. Okay, so... Let's see here. I will not deny I am a bit jealous of you having swoop. Where did you get him from? Was it a, a normal store? Oh, hold on. The normal store or online? Also, I like his teleportation.
but I like Starscream. There you go. So, and there we go. That is the last, uh, last comment so far on this video. Uh, so when I, I'm going to stop recording and then I will be back with the next, uh, next batch of comments. Okay. So up next, we have another, uh, Another comment. This one comes to us from my uh, from Light Crimson eighty thirty. He said, and I quote, "Cool." And my I already actually did a reply, and I said, "Thank you." <laughs> Sometimes it's the simple uh, simple uh, comments that you know are are the most appreciated. The guy thought this was cool, and I said, "Thank you." So yeah, like even though if you leave like one word answers, hey, you know, I'm so grateful. You know, I am so grateful. The guy thinks it's cool. Hey, so thank you very much, Light Crimson eighty thirty. Okay, up next we have another uh, comment on this video, and it comes to us from Martin Martinez slash VX three WP. I like, I'll be honest, I like that name, especially the slash three, uh, VX three WP. It makes it sound like that he could be like a, like a cybernetic life form that he, you know, like that, that he has like his human name and then the slash VX three WP that could be like a serial number. I fucking like that name. I like that name a lot. He said, and I quote online, follow up with another message. Online for anything of relevance to you. And I reply to that. Uh, yep, I, I I get I get 99% of all my collection from either Amazon, Big Bad Toy Store, or Walmart. Uh, I still love the thrill of the hunt going from store to store. And and I think I think it's because when I was younger, I used to go like to KB Toys, to Walmart, to Target, to Fred Meyers. And I was looking for like the Marvel action figures or the Ninja Turtle action figures and stuff. So I, even though the 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 stores the the scene the store scene I guess you could say stores are not that great anymore when it comes to trying to find the the figures you're wanting. I I still do it because it brings back fond memories. I still do it because it brings back fond memories, and I I love the hunt. I love the hunt. Who knows? You may go to Target and may not find anything, or you may actually find. Hold on one second. Okay, so I am back. As I was saying, you may go to Target and not find anything you're looking for, or there may be a time. Hold on, when you uh, go to Target and you may you don't find the figure you're initially looking for, like Studio Series eighty six swoop, but you do find the uh, Studio Series one thirteen Sky War. So yeah, it, it, it's kind of a it's it's a it's a it's a mixed bag, I guess you could say. You know, like I said, sometimes you find something, sometimes you don't, and sometimes you may find something you were never even expecting. Excuse me, but that is my reply to Martin Martinez v slash slash vx three wp. Still, I think that is an awesome fucking name. Ladies and gentlemen, the future is getting closer and closer with each and every day that passes. To those who are about to reply and say, yeah, I know shit, Sherlock. Here, here, hold me, hold on, hold on, let me, let me have my moment here, please, I'm begging you. Anyway, it was 4 a.m. a few, a couple weeks ago, I think it was, and uh, I went to the grocery store. I woke up and I just, I couldn't go back to sleep, so I, you know, I went to the grocery store at 4 a.m., and I saw... Uh, it was the first time I ever saw a, a totally self-guided uh, floor cleaner. This thing blew my fucking mind. I, I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. To those who actually, I, I think actually, I will play the video. Here's the video. Okay, so here is the. Uh, this is another one of the YouTube shorts that I uh. That I uploaded. It was a, it was a, it was a couple of weeks ago, I think, at the late, at the most. Anyway, 
Uh, like I said, I was going grocery shopping at 4 a.m. And I saw this thing working by itself. I, I It blew my fucking mind, ladies and gentlemen. You, you, have you ever seen, like, a cat that is so curious about what you're doing that it will follow you just to watch to see what you're doing? This is what it was like. I was like that fucking cat watching, like, a, a, a human, for example. Yeah. Now, I'm going to play this. It may be a little bit loud. Let me... uh. Actually, turn it down a little bit. I apologize for my breathing. I was a little bit congested. I forgot to take my nasal spray before I went grocery shopping. And so you're going to hear me a little bit breathing. I apologize. But this is what I saw at 4 a.m. Okay. How freaking creepy is that? The future is here, ladies and gentlemen. Skynet is about to nuke us. I swear to fucking God. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, so that was my uh, my encounter with uh, an automated automated uh, automated floor cleaner, basically. And and I, honestly, I'm very I, I'm kind of in awe because I've never seen anything like it. That thing was able to actually navigate around an employee, as you saw in the video. But anyway, we're not here to hear. You're not here to watch me gush over a fucking floor cleaner. You are here to actually see what somebody said. Did somebody say something about it? You're damn right. Somebody said something about it. Okay, so Chan, see here, Chan Chandan G seven sixty seven said, creepy. Like I said, sometimes short and to the point. I like it. I like it. I I respect him for that. I replied to him saying that, yes, it is very spooky, especially against the backdrop of the surroundings. The beeping sounded so sad. And, and you, you can hear it. It's like it, you just constantly let out this little, this little sad beeping sound like, like it was caught, you know, Sending out a communication that would never get returned. It was fucking sad, you know, like beep, beep, you know, like it was fucking sad. But anyway, and then another uh, one, uh, one of my uh, subscribers, he uh, posted in uh, uh, S seven Yan sixty nine. He said, "Was it automatic or being controlled by someone?" Kind of scary. Not gonna lie. And I watched this thing uh, more than what the video showed. I, I was actually watching this thing because I was fucking entranced about uh, with it. And uh, honestly, with the exception of the workers that we you could see in the video that was uh, stalking one of the uh, refrigerator units, I didn't see anybody in the area operating at all. I think this thing was a fully functional, self-guided uh, floor cleaner. It was, it was, it was fucking nuts, man. It was fucking nuts. But yeah, so that was uh, all the comments basically on uh, a couple of my more recent shorts videos. Turn this off. So when I return, uh, it will be with some actual full length content. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody. Uh, so up next we have uh, the first full video of my uh, co that some people commented on that I kind of captured. I guess you you know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, anyway, so these uh, next couple comments are in relation to my uh, reacting to DSP uh, admitting that he was down from uh, the Raptors 
this is the video that abruptly ended because I had some computer. Uh, I accidentally, I'll be honest, I accidentally stupid, stupidly uh, clicked on stop recording. I clicked the wrong hotkey and I didn't realize I am so stupid. I understand. I, hey, I, I, I feel bad. I do feel bad though. But anyway, these are a couple of those comments. So here is the first one. Uh, Philo of M8581 uh, said, and I quote, big ups. And at which I said, thank you, big ups to you. Have a great day, fellow detractor. Like I said, I, I it's going to be kind of a re, re, uh, repeat of me saying it over and over again. But sometimes simple is the best. You know, it doesn't, you don't have to give like a huge paragraph just to say, you know, that you like what somebody does. Sometimes just literally saying big ups. Hey, that's cool with me. I, that's cool with me. If it's cool with you, it's cool with me. So, yeah, thank you to, you know, to a fellow detractor who likes what I do. So, yeah, it means a lot to me. Thank you, Philo. I am sorry if I butchered your name. Philo of M. Philo of them? 8581. So, yeah, thank you very much, dude. And I hope you had a great day, fellow detractor. The next comment we get comes from RuneScapers with 3Z, or RuneScapers, and he said, Average detractor. Okay, okay, who the fuck told this guy to call me an average detractor? Average fucking, are you fucking nuts? Average detractor, oh my fucking god. You, you called me average? If I had hair, I'd be fucking pulling my hair out, right? You fucking called me average, and I don't even have any goddamn water to drink. Ah! You hurt my feelings. You hurt my feelings. You call me average. You know what you can do for me, Mr. Runescaper with three Z's? Here's what you can do. I am demanding you to go and edit that comment. You heard me. You heard me. I am demanding you to edit that comment. I refuse to be average no 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 if you're going to if you're going to lump me in if you're going to put me in the category i demand to be uh recognized for what i officially am and i jeff aka jeekers i will not settle with average fuck no 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 you will you will recognize me as low tier That's right. I am. I am below. I, I'm like low. I'm. I'm like bottom tier. Average. How dare you call me average? No, I am low tier, ladies and gentlemen. I am low tier. You. You expect somebody with uh charisma, like duty, duty streams, or somebody who knows how to talk, you know, and talk to his audience and make them feel loved and welcomed, like Kevin. Praise be. Those guys are above average. You call me average. That's like you're literally saying, hey, that piece of shit, Jeff over there, that G curse guy, he, he's like neighboring heaven in duty streams. How, what the fuck is wrong with you? Average. Average. Ha. Hooey. Hooey. No, I demand you call me low tier. I'm a low tier detractor. I'm low tier. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? What the fuck is wrong with this guy calling me average? Average! Average! I gotta get water. I'll be right back. Jesus Christ. I was ranting and raving through my apartment. Excuse me. Going to get my water. I was talking about average! Fucking average! He thinks I'm average! I can't believe that. I can't believe he believes. Fucking average. Do you? Oh man, I'm so upset. I'm even stumbling around putting my Bluetooth away. 
can't believe that. Cannot believe that. Fucking average. Okay, but honestly, you know, like, like, yeah, I, I, I'm just fo fooling around with this guy. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if he, this is actually him taking a dig at me. If it was, then he, you know, hey, more power to him. But I thought I'd play around with a little bit. Average. Fucking average. <laughs> but yeah, so let's actually leave a reply to, uh, to this. Let's see here. Give me one second to pull it up. Let's see here. Um, hold on. Comments. Well, I still got, well, I still got others I got to do also. Uh, let's see here. Can't believe that. Fucking average. Fucking average. Do I look average to you? I look fat, but I'm not average. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Let me let me mute my computer so you don't get blasted with whatever it is about to sound. Oh, no, okay, there we go. Okay, so let's switch over. Fucking average! I can't believe that! Motherfucker called me average! Ah, fucking Christ! Okay, uh, uh... Let's see, how can I put this? Let's see. Average? I guess I can handle that. Smiley face. Uh, whatever face that is. Smiley face again. There you go. <laughs> I, how the fuck do you reply to something like? I'll even be nice. No, I'm gonna give a a like and a and a heart. Uh, what what does it what does it mean again? It doesn't. Ah, uh, fuck. It's a heart. It's a fucking heart. Yeah. No. Okay. There you go. Okay, so that was basically, hold on, basically my, uh, fucking bitch, get my fucking shit, okay, uh, that was my, those were a couple of comments to my, uh, G curse reacts to DSP admits he's down from the rafters, I'm not fucking average, okay, guys, uh, this is the portion of the video where it starts to really get kind of serious, and uh, these upcoming questions or comments are uh, were made in the video I did. It was the G Curse reacts to the DSP demand or DSP gaming demanding stuttering Craig apologize to him. Now, if you don't know who DSP gaming is, thank fucking God you are you are fucking lucky. Uh, to me, DSP gaming is he is a blight on uh, on the internet. He, he is what a lot of people call a professional uh, victim or a professional e-beggar if you really want to. But the guy is a piece of shit. He's a piece of shit. I am not going to pull any punches when it comes to this loser. He uh, he treats people like he treats them abhorrently. And then when he gets put in a, in a corner, basically, he expects he will lash out and he expects people to apologize to him now what you are about to now this video uh him demanding stuttering craig apologize to him is in uh what it was uh in relation to our relation is that the right way to say it but anyway i'm not sure anyway dsp gaming admitted that he was lying to everybody and at which uh at least you know myself i already knew that he was but a lot of the people uh, who gave Phil money in good uh, good conscience did not realize that Phil was lying to them, and he spent thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. Oh, it's, it's it's over a hundred thousand dollars now. I'll just say that. Uh, you know, people did not know that he was spending money that he was begging for for bills, for necessities that he was literally using this money to play. To fuel his uh, mobile game addiction. And when people actually call him out before the lie was revealed, uh, DSP Gaming would actually attack those people. Oh, you're fucking an, a fucking idiot. You don't know what you're talking about. 
Get lost, loser. I already knew what Phil Burnett was like, though. But yeah, he would tell people to do the most heinous things to themselves. And then he, oh, I, I never, I never did anything like that. And then, uh, then a couple of days ago, he fucking admitted that he was lying. The guy is a piece of shit. He's a piece of shit. Anyway, uh, Bill Burnell last year went on to a podcast called Side Scrollers. And the, the host was asking him some pretty hard hitting questions about uh, where the money was going. And Phil lied. He outright fucking lied to the host and to the co-host of this podcast. There's no other way to fucking put it, you know, to, to walk around it. He fucking lied to them. Well, Bill Burnell told it, finally came out and told the truth, but we already knew that he was lying. And he invited Stuttering Craig to his podcast. Stuttering Craig is the host of the Side Scrollers. Now, keep in mind, Phil Burnell lied. At these people oh i i ne i never lied i you know i'm telling you the truth a year later he lied it comes on says i lied craig comes on to the on to phil burnell's podcast and what does phil burnell do he demands he demands stuttering craig give him an apology Fuck what? No, really, fuck what? If I had a podcast, which I don't, and Phil came on, or I've, or if I went on his podcast and goes, Jeff, yeah, I lied to shit. I lied to you, to your face. I lied to your co uh, co host. I did it, and I don't care. You owe me an apology. My reply to him would be that he could go fuck off. He could take his little want, he could take his thumb, and he could shove them up his ass. You do not get to guilt the people you were victimizing. Bill Burnell is a piece of shit. Anyway, so here are some comments about, you know, that were made in this video. We have Dark Fair. He said no way he would sell $40,000 spent on an account only to make a new account on the same game. Now, if you don't know what uh, he's talking about, basically this addiction that uh, DSP Gaming has. He plays a mobile game. He claims that he... Now, we, we learned... We were not... We learned... We, the, the tractors were able to determine that... Over a hundred thousand dollars. I I'm I'm trying to be conservative because I don't know the exact amount. I know it's it's a lot of money. Bill Burnell invested a lot of money into this game, and then when he lied, and when he admitted that he lied, he compo compounded that lie with another lie. Well, I I don't have that account anymore. I sold that account. The fuck you did, Phil. You fucking still have the account. Don't fucking lie. You may be able to lie to your viewers. You may be able to lie to your viewers. Don't fucking try lying to the tractors. We can see through that shit. Anyway. Dark Fair basically said no way he'd sell that account that he uh that he, you know, basically sunk thousands of dollars uh, into. And I totally agree. I I replied to him and I basically said exactly sell an account with countless thousands invested in it only to sell it for one thousand dollars yep not buying it i don't buy it i do not buy it and when people actually started calling phil out again to prove this lie phil act he did the same thing he always does well i don't gotta show you anything you gotta take my word for it no you're a fucking liar you are a fucking liar we don't have to take your word for jack shit. Keep playing your low game, and we're going to keep calling you out. 
We know you're down from the Raptors. You admitted to it. You can try making all the fucking punk ass excuses. Well, I sold that. That account actually isn't mine anymore. The fuck it isn't. It's still your account. I am like an STD test. You're not getting past me. Up next in this video or in this video that I did, the next comment we have comes from Drop Pod Crusader. Now, when I hear Drop Pod, I think of Halo. I'm wondering if that's actually where he uh, got this name from. Uh, at which I'm also going to type a reply that you will see in a few in a minute or two. You know. Anyway, Drop Pod Crusader says, "I think Krill, uh, Krill, Krill. Why did I say Krill? I think Craig thought he would could give Phil platitudes and help Phil come out of this a better person." The problem is that he is uh, way too quick to give people the benefit of the doubt, and uh, Phil thinks he is in, th and then everybody clapped Ark. The one, th the one issue I have with all of this is, I don't know Stuttering Craig, so I can't really say that much about him. But uh, going by what I watched about that uh, podcast from a year ago. And then what just happened? Stutter and Craig didn't need to give Phil uh, Burnell an apology at all. Phil Burnell is the one that lied to everyone. He lied to you. He lied to me. He lied to Stutter and Craig. He lied to the cast of the side scrollers. He lied to everyone. Now, I'm not taking it that hard. The reason why? Because I already knew the guy was a fucking liar. You can't be betrayed if you already know the guy's going to betray you. So I already knew that, you know, I knew this day was coming. Dutter and Craig, I think he was too nice. Dutter and Craig had no reason to apologize to Phil Burnell. No matter what fucked up reasons Phil Burnell, th you know, cooked in his head, it does. It, it's not enough reason for Dutter and Craig to uh, apologize to him. Now you got to keep in mind, Phil likes to play the victim. Oh, Dutter and Craig, he he weaponized hate against me. The motherfucker, referring to Phil Burnell, the motherfucker constantly wishes people would die. Now his whole argument is well, well, I'm just, I'm just saying, I don't actually mean it. The fuck he doesn't. The fuck he doesn't wish it. He fucking does. Watch any Street Fighter video that he produces. Watch. I actually encourage you to watch the detractors because if you watch the detractors content, you'll get a lot of unedited stuff, and you can see Phil Burnell in the for the. Piece of shit that he actually is. You will find out that 99% of every Street Fighter 6 video, you will hear him at least say once, the person is a waste of space, he doesn't need to exist. It's not a fucking act. This guy is a abhorrent piece of garbage. Jordan Craig made two mistakes. Number one, he gave that apology. He didn't fucking need to. Like I already said, if he goes, Jeff, I want an apology, I, I, I would literally tell him, go fuck yourself. No, seriously, from the bottom of my heart, from all the detractors, go fuck yourself. Because if you give him an apology, it gives him power. And that's what he wants. He wants power. He wants to be able to ward that apology over uh, Stern and Craig. Guess what? Stuttering Craig made Stuttering Craig apologize to me. I'm a big tough bastard. You cannot give people like Phil Burnell power. You give him what he wants, and he will hold it over your head to the end of time. He is that vindictive kind of person. But yeah, the other mistake that uh, Stuttering Craig made is that he actually thinks that he could help Phil Burnell. Phil Burnell does not want help. 
he does not want help. He wants he wants power. He want he wants to he thinks he's a narcissist. He thinks he does no wrong. I also think that he's on uh on the spectrum also. The guy is not worthy of an apology. And the fact that Sir and Craig gave it to him, it really did it's gonna it's gonna damage Stern and Craig in the long run because now Bill Burnell has that over his head he can always hold. But yeah. Uh you can't you, you can't help a narcissist who thinks that they're God's gift. I actually forgot to actually type my reply. I went into that fucking rant and I, I totally forgot. I got the reply. So let's actually get to that, shall we? Let's get to that. So let's give me one second here. Um, well, I'm going Oh, and by the way, right now, as I am, here, let's actually switch this over. Hold on. I know you guys can't see it. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so here's the Stuttering Craig video. I want to say right now, two, 724 uh, you know, views with 21 thumbs up, four, four thumbs down. That's okay. That's okay. It's still activity, you know, all around it's still uh it's still uh you know part of the system, so you know, but anyway. So yeah, I just want to say thank you to everybody who is making my video uh right there. Yeah, yeah, right there. Who's making my video explode right now? It means a lot to me. You guys are fucking awesome. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's click on that. Okay. And as you can see, a lot of these uh, screen clips are from earlier, so I don't even have a lot of these done. So I'm probably gonna have to do like an edit and add more in, yeah. Okay, let's see here. Uh, where is it? Oh, drop, okay, here we go. I'm gonna thumbs up and like, or heart, you know. Uh, uh while i understand what you are saying people like bill cannot be helped the minute the stuttering craig craig why craig what what okay minute stuttering craig apologize Fake or not. Fake or not. It gave Bill what he wanted, which was something to lord for Bill Burnell could no and not help too far gone the guy has a god okay and that is my reply to drop dead crusade or drop pod crusader so let's do this and i'll be right back with the next uh with the next Oh, comment. Up next, we actually have a very nice comment uh, in this video. It comes from Lord Mega Win One dot or One Point Five Super Ultra Ultra Aim or AME or oh, so sorry, Super Ultra Me Eighty Five. He says your logo is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, Lord Mega Win 1.5 Super Ultra Me 85. That, that, that is, that's pretty nice of you. To those who are not uh, aware of what he's talking about, 
I use when it comes to my DSP React videos. I use an image. Hold on. Ah, there you go. I use this image to uh, as like a as an opening image. Uh, this is what he's talking about. Um, basically, what I did was I just went through an AI image generator and I I threw out some uh some oh what we call it some some words search words I guess you could say and it, it formed this image. And then it was a base image, and then I uh, added, like, blood from eyes, or bleeding eyes, and you get what you see there. And the reason, you're like, why why bleeding eyes, Jeff? And the answer is quite simple. The answer is because when I feel when I watch a DSP gaming uh, video, I feel like I'm literally dying a little bit. And and I, I one of these days, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit that fucking limit. And you're just gonna start seeing blood coming out of my eyes at the length of shit or the amount of shit that Phil Burnell says. So that's why you see the blood and everything. But yeah, so the uh, Lord Mega Win 1.5 Super Ultra Me 85. Thank you for the comment. Let's do this. Hold on. Let's we're going to we're going to leave a comment. So. Uh, um, here we go. And reply. Very much. Thank you very much. Ah, crap. Much. Ah. It was a simple image generator, generator result. Okay, so that was the comment from Lord. Mega Win 1.5 Super Ultra Me 85. Holy shit! I never thought I'd actually be able to finish saying that uh, saying that correctly. Uh, wait, wrong one. Uh, there you go. So when I return, it will be with the next uh, next comment. Okay. So up next we have vulgar display of pink 5668, <laughs> and, and and I'm I'm really. I'm really st I I saw this and I knew I was going to you know I was going to have to reply to it and and, and I'm sorry I'm thinking I my mind is in the gutter right now ladies and gentlemen I'm not sure what it is it's just yeah the, the, the vulgar display of pink 668 says Craig uh, was too compassionate with DSP and Phil sounded like a toddler uh, when he just told uh, me to go fuck myself. Totally agree. Craig is too compassionate. That that that, that is, you know, their 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 comment pretty dead on dead, on, you know, right on the bullseye, ladies and gentlemen. Craig is too nice, and he was trying to be nice to a person who literally does not give a fuck about anybody. Bill Burnell does not care about his parents. Bill Burnell does not care about his uh, his previous girlfriend. He his previous girlfriend excuse whatever his excuses are. His previous girlfriend had uh, an anxiety attack, a panic attack. They were they were actually either in the midst. Uh, it, he claimed that they were uh, already uh, broken up. I don't think that they were. I don't take a damn word that he says as truthful. I think that they were I think they were in the process of breaking up but I don't think that they were totally broken up. He had a, a, a panic attack at her job or an anxiety attack at her job. If that wasn't bad enough, the only real person she could get help from was Phil Burnell. What did Phil Burnell do? After he went home, he basically proceeded to say that they should have just given her a pill and left her on the side of the street. A real caring person, isn't he, ladies and gentlemen? Keep in mind, this is the same piece of shit that dragged his previous girlfriend across the country. She didn't have family here. No family at all. Just leave her on the street, give her a pill. The piece of shit has to make videos for YouTube. Give her a pill. 
Lovely guy, huh, gen ladies and gentlemen? So let's, uh, as always, let's let's uh, let's leave a reply. You know, that's one thing I like to do with these. You know, I like to just leave replies. So let's actually zoom in. I keep forgetting to zoom in. Okay, well, is that any better? Well, you may not be able to see everything, but okay. Actually, let's zoom out. Agreed. Craig. Right. Why the fuck am I saying Craig? Craig did not need to provide any sort of apology. He, Craig, and the crew of side rollers were literally lied to for five plus hours. No way in hell that. Craig needed to give SP Gaming an Apollo. My reply would have been a very polite go fuck yourself. Yeah. Very true. Very true. Yes. I your name like a lot. Yes, I like your name like a lot. But there's just something about that name. I'm not sure what it is. It could also be the picture itself, you know, but yeah. I will go on oh, thumbs up and heart. There you go. I, I will go to my grave and say, you know, if he literally came to me and goes, Jeff, I want an apology from you, I'd go fuck yourself. No, I mean politely, go fuck yourself. You're not getting an apology from me. But yeah, so, so yeah, we got several more comments uh, coming right on up. Uh, first, let's actually shit. Turn, turn this off. Turn this off. Okay. Several more comments coming right on up. The next comment is from people are telling me, and I apologize if you have trouble actually reading this. Uh, because these are screen caps, the size, the, you know, the length and size of their replies could be a little bit bigger or smaller based on, you know, how it is when it's screen capped. I try to make it as big as possible, but sometimes it just does not want to work with me. Anyway, people are telling me 40, now this is due to something I said in the video, so let me read it first. $40,000. My dude, he's beyond 200000 mark at this point. Conservative estimates are around 190,000, but he could easily be at 200,000. It sounds greatly exaggerated, but it's factual uh, and easy to research. I do want to say thank you for pointing this out. I, I do, I you know, I do not mind when somebody wants to point out something like this when there is numbers. And when I said forty thousand dollars, I'll be honest, I I knew the number was larger. But I did not at that time want to look it up because I was making the video. And I have a problem when I'm making videos. There are times I have that I kind of have, like, I'll, I'll be talking about something. And I'll go to research something else. Like, say, if you watch my Unsolved Mysteries videos, you'll see that sometimes. I'll go to research something in the Unsolved Mysteries case. But then I'll kind of forget what it was I was originally talking about, you know. So I, you know, I, I appreciate that he did call me out on this. Uh, it's just like I said that I was afraid if I went to something else, my what I was originally planning on talking about, I'd forget. And then I'd feel like everything was falling apart. So, uh, yes, I understand that he, you know, I, and I agree that the amount is a lot larger. The amount is a lot larger. And... Uh, I was just saying forty thousand dollars, just as you know. I didn't want to risk saying like without knowing for sure. Oh, he spent 
half a million. And then you'd have like people, go, oh, what the fuck are you doing? You're trying to, you're trying to uh, gaslight people and make him believe that Phil spent more than what he actually did. So I figured I would just use a lower amount, yeah, you know, just as a way to try to not piss off one group of people while, you know, while at least trying to keep the idea there that Phil has spent a shit ton of money. But yes, thank you for calling me out. Uh, it's just like, like I said, it's just mainly I threw out $40,000 because I was afraid that if I went to like, okay, well, I'm not sure exactly how much it is, but you know, let me go look and I'll start looking at it and I'll start getting further into that. And then everything I had up here, I wanted to talk about, I'd forget. And then I'd start talking about something else. And it just, it's just, I didn't want to uh, kind of ramble off, you know, but l like I said, thank you for uh, letting, you know, for basically calling me out on that. I am going to type a reply. I just got to, I forgot to get this set up as I'm recording this. This is actually the morning of 9-11. So I, you know, I'm getting, re I'm already kind of ready to go to work. You're thinking to yourself, well, Jeff, you're wearing the same green shirt. Well, when I uh, made the other one yesterday, when I started this video, I, uh, when I started this video yesterday, uh, I had uh, a black tank top on. And for some reason, I just did not want, feel like people wanting pe that people would want to see me, see my hairy arms and shoulders and everything. And the weird thing is because I don't really have an issue with that. I'm still getting everything set up. Uh, I don't have an, normally I don't have an issue if people see me in a black tank top. But for some reason, it's just like, yeah, maybe t t yesterday I will uh, just pop on a green shirt. So I took this sucker off the hanger and uh, got off the hanger and I uh, I take it off the hanger and boom, this is what I'm going to wear for today, today, you know. Thankfully, it's not supposed to be very warm, so, or it's not supposed to be as hot as it was. It was either this or like a black shirt, and I thought I'd go with something with a little bit more color. Anyway. No. Oh. Oh, no. All right. Oh, it's this one. There it is. Okay. So I got, actually, I have a few comments here I need to uh, reply to. Okay, so I just wanted thank you for calling me out. I do know that amount was more than forty. Well, more than what said I. Give a round about, you know, a, 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 give a number without great over, greatly overstating, I guess, amount when I'm making videos. I sometimes give a very Conservative. I fucking knew it. I always tend to get at least one that word messed up. No, that's not it. Seriously, why can't they make spelling easy? Like, I'll just go. I'll this. Hold on. <laughs> Bill conservative. E R. Sometimes I give a very conservative number because if I start 
researching while making a video, I tend to trail off. However, I do appreciate only Okay, and to show that I'm not I'm not even upset at the guy. I appreciate him, you know, for you know, I liked him or heart his comment or care for his comment, whatever that is. Okay, so that was my uh that was the comment from people are telling me. Up next we will have another comment. Up next we have a comment from Sephiroth J. He said in, and I quote, uh, in my opinion, I don't want him to succeed and may pass the point anyway. If anything, he needs to be imprisoned for the scams and the fraud he's committed. Oh, I agree. I totally agree. Back in the 80s, hell, even before the 80s, let's go to the 70s. I'm not sure exactly when the rise of po and popularity of televangelists uh, started up. But you would literally have people on television scamming uh, their their uh, the their parishioners. I guess that's what the correct term is. Uh, they they would literally scam them to give them money. Uh, look no further than uh, let's see here. Let's actually pull up a new window. Uh, let's see. Look no further than there we go. Jim and Tammy Bay Baker. Uh, see here. So you basically had James Orson Baker. He was a uh, or is a te American televan televangelist and convicted felon. Uh, he hosted a TV show, and basically it was revealed that they were literally using the money. Let's see here. Let's actually click on this. Um, let's see. I want to see the contents. Uh, fraud and conviction. Oh, here we go. Uh, they basically uh, had a PTL club, whatever that stands for. I think it was related to their uh, church. They were uh, had fundraising activities between 84 and 87 and uh, leading to a criminal charge against Baker. Baker and the PTL Association sold $1,000 lifetime memberships in, uh, entitling buyers to an annual three night stay at a luxury hotel, Heritage USA. Uh, let's see here. The Baker sold exclusive partnerships and ex with exceeded capacity. Uh, and uh, much of the money paid uh, Heritage operating expenses. And Baker kept 3.4 million of the, of the dollars. Let's see here. Well, this isn't what I thought it was talking about. Well, it's probably a lot more. Uh, here because I swore that he did because I thought he had that had something to do with the church that he uh that or the, the 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 congregation I thought he committed fraud against that I may be wrong but the fact is the guy committed fraud and to me uh granted he uh Phil Burnell not we're aware of yet he did not do uh have any sexual misconduct so we are not i'm not going to say phil did anything that heinous but uh here let's go back but phil has a history of fraud he to this day to this day he will literally go and claim for me i need money for bills i need money for food i need money for jasper kitty jasper i don't know the full uh or because, like I said, I, I tend to watch Phil Burnell and follow him in uh, periods. Like, I'll, I'll go, you know, I'll follow him for a little bit, then I will stop. And then I'll come back just to see if he is capable of evolving and becoming a better person. And sadly, every time I come back, it seems that he's gotten worse and worse and worse, you know. So, but anyway, I don't know what the exact lore is, but apparently the uh, his cat needs some sort of blood work done. And by the reports, it hasn't happened yet. And I'm guessing Phil Burnell is claiming money issues because of that. Well, the guy gets literally thousands of dollars a month. Thousands of dollars a month. And he still can't take care of his cat. Yesterday, I was uh, 
as I was editing some of these earlier segments together, because this is going to be one large video. But anyway, as I was editing some of these segments together, uh, I was listening on the other monitor that, you know, Phil was doing uh, WWE Champions st uh, stream. The guy spent over $200. Just just playing a video game or or a gotcha game or the both video. He literally spent two hundred dollars at least. And he openly admitted that the second one hundred dollars that he got that he spent was literally useless. That money that he spent last night could have gone to help his cat. He, he will literally claim that he is poor, that he needs money, he needs money for food. He needs, he may not be able to make it till tomorrow if we don't give him money. The only difference, the only reason I think that this guy gets off as much as he does is the fact that this isn't televised. Phil, Phil likes to think that he is the center of the universe, that everybody wants to watch him. He thinks that, er, that he's going through some motherfucking uh, renaissance. He's going through a renaissance. Everybody's liking him. He's now he's now popular. He is he he in his mind, he is the same level as Mr. Beast, Ninja, Cutie Pie. He 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 surpassed those guys. He actually thinks that he is so important nowadays that everyone wants to come onto his podcast. The only people he is able to get onto his podcast. Are uh are basically lol cows. Team Star, uh, he did a even though they weren't really on his podcast, he interacts with Kino Casino, which are lol cows also. The only person of any sort of rep, you know, rep that has good reputation is June the King, and I'm halfway expecting uh June the King. To get uh to to you know Phil's gonna probably ask him to basically bend the knee to him. He was like, "No, dude. Here is the evidence I presented as is. I did not edit any of this to make you know to make you look bad. You've made yourself look bad." Phil is probably gonna do the same thing he did to Stuttering Craig. He's going to say, "Okay, well, fine. Fuck you. Click." And I forgot to mention just now, Stuttering Craig was also on the show, but I don't follow him that much, so I can't really say exactly what his alignment is, if he's a lol cow or not. You know, I don't, I don't really follow him. But the fact that, uh, you know, he, you know, that uh, Craig ruffled Phil's feathers to the point Phil's like. You would like me to come back on your show where we could work, you know, work together. And Craig would look like Craig was actually being sincere. He's like, yeah, you know, we would like that. Well, no, fuck you. Hang up. The guy's a pussy. He, Phil Burnell likes to call LTG a pussy. Now, Phil is actually the legitimate form of a pussy. He will literally force his, force the last word and then literally uh, kick kick the person out off the stream basically that's not a man dude that's not a man at all <laughs> but yeah so back to what i was originally saying see this is why i was kind of trailing off and i want to get myself back onto this other you know my main thought here i think that phil, the reason phil is not in the amount of trouble that he should rightfully be in is because he he's not on television. Granted, television is a dying is a dying format, I guess you could say. But it still has a hell of a lot more viewers than YouTube. I'm pretty sure. I should say I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I may be wrong, but I I would like to think that there are more people watching television than there are people watching YouTube. And I'm pretty sure if Phil was on television, if he was on NBC every night, going guys. Guys, I need money. I need money for, for food for my wife. I need money for my cat. I need money to make sure I don't lose my home. I need money for uh for my car. Let's just say for his car. And people start giving him money. And then it's revealed 
that he literally spent that money on frivolous, stupid shit. Soundproofing. That doesn't even fucking help him at all. Back Background LEDs. By the way, kind of funny, he fucking hated the idea of RGB just a few months ago. But when other people, uh, when he saw other people doing it, he, oh, I could do that. He started liking it all of a sudden. He, he lied about the computer. We all know he got that fucking computer. That, what, $2,000, $3,000 computer, whatever it was. Everything that is donated anonymously, it's Phil Burnell. When Phil Burnell literally said, yeah, guys, that game, that game profile for the last seven years, that's actually me. I lied to you all. Why should we not believe that he's lying to us about everything else? If you lied to us about something like that, he's lying to us about everything else. But yeah, so that that's basically what I was trying to say. Is I I just think that if he if he was on a more widely well, I don't even say that YouTube isn't easily accessible, but if he had a huger a larger audience, and I'm pretty sure that there are some people in the IRS, for for example, that probably watch TV. That would probably, you know, see Phil Burnell and go, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. This guy claimed bankruptcy a couple years ago. This guy claimed bankruptcy a couple years ago, and he is, you know, he's doing this. And then he'd probably get on the phone. Hey, Darla, that uh, Phil Burnell character, the one that we uh, had, that we investigated that when he claimed bankruptcy. Pull his records back up. I'm pretty sure that, you know, that could happen. But since Phil is basically keeping himself on YouTube and his audience isn't that big, I'm pretty sure that's what's keeping him protected. It's his, it's his size. It's, well, it's ultimately the size, his size, audience and presence and everything that's keeping him safe and insulated for the time being. Now, I'm sure that if he was somebody on the level of PewDiePie, or Mr. Beast that actually has a televised presence also, I'm pretty sure it'd be a lot different. But with that said, let's uh, go to the comments. So let's see. There and uh, I agree the fact that he isn't facing jail time for his crimes is pretty sad. However, I believe that this is his current limited reach. If Bill Burnell was on television and he would have have been uh, sequ sequestered. Right word. Let's see. Sequestered. Oh my god! I I think I actually got that word right. Did I get that word right? Hold on. Let me just. I want to make sure that. Okay. Jury witness or seclusion. I just draw to keep him. I thought you could also use sequestered as, uh, like, uh, to give information, to have to give information. Oh, isolation, trial proceed. Hmm. Maybe I was wrong. I thought it meant that you can, you can sequester somebody to give information. Oh, okay, well, let's, let's change the word. You have been questioned by the IRS long ago. Okay, so that was my reply to Sephiroth J. Okay, up next we have uh, a comment from Fluffy Pro. Fluffy Pro says, and I quote, Craig was sorry for that Phil felt bad, but he didn't apologize for the show after the first interview. I think Phil was trying to point blame on Craig for not reading the email. 
which I kind of agree. That's what I think it was. I think he was upset that the email email wasn't, you know, looked at right away. I don't think the email would have made uh, one difference. It didn't prove anything. He just said he was 50-50 on showing Craig the account. Also, I really don't get the whole selling uh, account uh, selling account thing. I'm a little doubtful, and I'm not even a detractor. I just watch side scrollers. Okay, so I a lot of here stuff here to kind of uh, to unpack basically. Uh, yeah, I think that the that Phil was trying to really just target the fact that Craig did not read his email in Phil's world. Phil's a narcissist. I say this all the time because a lot of what Phil has done points to rampant narcissism. Not only is he a narcissist, I think that he is also uh, on the spectrum. He may not be, you know, like, you know, really heavily on the spectrum. I think he's on the outer peripheral of the spectrum. He, he is not the same level as Chris Chan. But I've seen several indicators in my time in the field working with students who are on the spectrum. I see a lot of what Phil does in my students. So yeah, uh, in Phil's mind, he thinks that he is the world, uh, he is the center of the universe. And he expects, if somebody says that they're gonna do something, he expects that thing to be done right now. And Craig actually had a very good defense to this. He literally said, hey, I got a family. And by saying that he had a family, he was literally telling Phil, hey, you're not the center of my universe, dude. You're not the center of my universe. I have a family. They're a hell of a lot more important than you are. Bill couldn't handle that, and that's what upset him so much. Bill cannot handle the fact that somebody, Craig, for example, does not view Phil in such high esteem like Phil views himself. This goes all the way back to uh, John Rambo and Howard. Phil cannot, Phil cannot comp comprehend the fact that that John Rambo and Howard are as upset at Phil as they are. Not because, not because Phil, you know, Phil is just Phil, but because Phil, Phil did some bad things to those guys. And in Phil's mind, I never did anything to those guys. In fact, I, Phil Burnell, I helped them. I helped them. I don't know what I did to respect the pact. I helped them. When in reality, Phil was not able to to uh, to basically treat those people with respect. He 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 uses people, and this has been shown throughout. Uh, this has been shown throughout history, of you know of Phil Burnell. He views people more as a resource. He doesn't view them as people. Hell. He has shown that he does not. He he kind of has low low key contempt for his actual faithful viewers, not the detractors, not the trolls, the people who actually support Phil. He has shown that he has low key contempt for those guys. I remember quite a while ago that somebody said, "Hey Phil, you know, I you, you I've had some hard times. I watch your videos and it helps me feel better. And in a way, I view you as a friend." You are like a friend to me. You help me. Bill went off on that person. Oh, dude, I can't really call exactly what the words were, but it was along the line of something like, dude, that's creepy. Uh, you're not my friend. But don't forget to tip. But don't forget to tip. He didn't say actually to say the tipping part, but that's me just interjecting that. He shit on a guy who, you know, had problems. And he actually viewed Phil as somebody like a friend. And because of that, he got scorned. And I, th I started ranting again, you know. But, uh, but yeah, back to what I was trying to say, just to try to wrap, go wrap back around because I, my time is getting a little bit short. He, yeah, basically the email he wanted Craig to basically, you know, be there twenty four seven, wait for that email when Craig has a life of his own. Phil has a life of his own. Phil has actually shown when people go, "Hey, Phil, I emailed you. Can you unblock me?" No, you gotta fucking wait. You gotta wait till I'm done. I'm just gonna do it right now. 
doesn't go both ways, ladies and gentlemen. It only goes one way. Phil can make people wait, but nobody can make Phil wait, if you know what I mean. Okay, let's continue on. Uh, I don't think it would have made one difference. It wouldn't. Uh, it didn't prove anything. It doesn't. He, uh, Yeah, he said that he's 50-50 on showing his account. He never would have. He never would have. Because all this, I'm sorry, all this, I lied. He's simply saying this shit because he wants to move past. He doesn't want to actually acknowledge and fix the harm that he's done. He just wants to say it. I, I said it. I'm done. And that's literally, I, I said, I'm not going to say it again. I'm not going to talk about it again. He's not apologetic at all. He's not apologetic. Do not fall for the shit that he says. Um, let's see here. And I really don't get the whole selling account thing. That's Gabe. You don't get it because he didn't. I refuse to believe that he put 100000 plus into one account only to sell it and make what? $1,000, $2,000? No, I'm not fucking buying that. Uh, I'm a little doubtful and I'm not even a detractor. I just watch side scrollers. And that's okay. That's okay. I encourage people not to get into the detractor universe because once you're into that detractor universe, it's like a motherfucking black hole. It will pull you in and it will destroy you. But yeah, uh, it's okay to be doubtful. I don't blame you. If you watch Phil as for as long as I have throughout the years, you, you will be able to look at some of the things that Phil says and go, that's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. Those are big fucking lies. But yeah, and but, but it's not until you can actually start following him that you can actually see beyond the veil. Yeah. Okay, so that actually marks the end. last question for the time being of this uh, of this video. I have to head off to work, so I will see you all for the next section. I'm going to start recording once I get home again. I'm hoping to have the rest of this uh, finished up, and I'm hoping to have it uploaded either tonight or tomorrow at the latest. So until then, I will see you for the next section. Okay, I actually stupidly forgot to uh, type out my response to I, uh, to Fluffy Pro uh, during regarding the uh, stuttering uh, Craig or DSP gaming demanding stuttering Craig uh, basically apologize to him. And I am sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to type out that response right now. I got home uh, about an hour ago i had a quick bite to eat i started recording i got i was looking over the files and i thought oh shit i forgot to you know got to uh type out my reply to fluffy pro so i'm going to be doing that right now so i'm going to actually do this uh here, let's there we go i'm going to uh put this in several like you know sentences you know so let's say uh um let's see here how can i do this uh Regard, let's see. Uh, let me. I'm gonna like answer hit you know hit you know answer him sentence for sentence. You know what I mean? Okay. So here. Uh, Craig was sorry. Uh, he felt bad, bad for Phil. This major mistake. Bill is the type of person. Here, let's actually separate this. Doesn't look like he's saying. Okay, this was a major mistake. Phil is the type of person who will jump and jumps on someone if they if he. Thinks he can get upper hand. Bill doesn't care if someone thinks uh, or someone feels sorry. Troll him. The minute Craig followed Bill, Bill got what he. Okay, so next up we have uh, about uh, Fluffy Pro brought up the email, so copy that. My reply now. 
I agree. That's mostly the email. The issue is that Phil uh is that Phil expects the world evolve around him. Phil cannot handle the fact that Craig had a family of his own and because of this Craig made Phil wait. As you said in uh further in the this comment Bill even said he wasn't exactly sure the if he was if he was going to and show anything credible. Okay, let's see here. Next up. I don't think the email would have made a difference. He just, uh, let's see. Okay, copy this. I don't th uh, think here. Bill Bill didn't care. Honestly, how can I put it? From my observations, Bill of this interaction, Bill and Craig, along with the history that Phil has shown you are mostly most like likely correct Phil was simply trying to find an avenue to manipulate Greg and he found on his opening uh even though you said 50 50 i would actually think that it would be less than 10 percent that he would uh, have shown and the reason i say that is because if he show if he if it's his same tired bullshit argument if he shows anything, well, the the, the tractors will get an upper hand on me. He was never going to show Stutter and Craig anything. He wasn't. This was just him trying to get some sort of leverage. That That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Finally, we have... Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, it's up here. Okay. Also, I don't feel, really don't get the whole selling account thing. I'm a little uh, doubtful. And you're not even a tractor. Okay. So basically, uh, let's see here. You, it's okay to be cautious. Because Bill was lying and selling the account. He spent countless thousands in on wait on that profile. There is no way he in way in hell would most likely sell for one to two thousand dollars uh let's see here it's okay to not be a tractor i encourage people to stay away from phil uh he has a he has let's see here Bill 
is like a destructive force if you stay too long long you'll get get your soul slowly suck out by via the bullshit that will partake there you go there you go fluffy i like i said i am sorry about that i i gave you actually a, you know i hope that this kind of you know you know answered a lot of your statements and questions uh here let me actually put it here slide each of your there you go and thumbs up and a caring or heart or whatever the fuck that's supposed to be. okay so that was Oh, don't tell me, did a fucking... Oh, my God, did I... Hold on, let me... Oh, good. I thought for sure, I thought I clicked cancel. And I'm like, oh, shit, did I... Oh, good. I thought for sure I clicked cancel. I'm like, ah! No, I forgot. <laughs> oh, good, thank God. Uh, I thought for sure, I'm like, oh, my God, I clicked cancel. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that's my Ric Flair right there. Woo! <laughs> Okay, so there you go, Fluffy. Here was my response to your comment. Okay, up next we have a re I have a comment to one of my uh, reaction videos. This was a G Chris reacts to the top ten creepiest TV themes. This was a Watch Mojo video that I uh, did a react to a couple weeks ago, and the person said his name is Zellafron Twenty. He said, and I quote, a theme, a theme song, <clears throat> or sorry, a theme, yeah, a theme song that could have gotten an honorable mention was the British show Sapphire and Steel. My 13-year-old brother used to watch it as a kid and used to scare the shit out of him. And when I watched it a late, as a late teen, young adult, it sure got the, to creep me out. And the Twin Peaks, uh, it's the show itself that can be scary. The theme, I find not that scary at all. Instead, somewhat mellow. I'll be honest, I never watched, uh, I never watched Twin Peaks, so I can't really say that much about the show. The only real reference, the only thing that I can really say about it is that I saw the episode of The Simpsons where Lisa and Homer was like it was. I think it was like a dream sequence. And Lisa was trying to tell Hummer something, and I think it was like eating a bag of chips or cookies or something. And she was she was giving him the clues, and he was just not picking up on it. And she ended up just like losing her fucking mind, and she literally told him what to do. So there was that, and then I am I am a very big fan of the uh, Xbox 360 game Alan Wake. I never played Alan Wake 2, uh, but from what I understand, I think, isn't Alan Wake 2, or Alan Wake supposed to be kind of inspired by uh, Twin Peaks? But anyway, so here's what we're going to do. We are actually going to go, I'm going to, uh, just off for the time being, and we're going to go to YouTube to see if I can find, well, actually, I need to find out what the name of that song is again. Hold on. So, or the show. So. Sapphire and Steel. So let me type that in because I'm kind of curious about this uh, TV show and its theme. It. Let me get my. Uh, ooh, they even have full episodes. I have to admit, this lady here. Let me. This. Wait, hold on. Do this. This, there's a lady right there. She actually looks pretty nice. A little bit, a little bit haunting in the eyes, if you ask me. But she still looks pretty damn nice. I'm getting my Bluetooth on right now. Okay, let's see here. Pair, hold on. Yep, a pair, good. Okay. Oh, good. Okay, so let let let's see here. Sapphire, oh, did I, oh, Sapphire and Steel. Why did I type about and Steel? 
opening credits. This is what we really want to see. We want to see the opening credits. And I want to see if this is actually... You know, I just want to see if it gives me a little bit of a goose bump. You know what I mean? So let's take a look here. I call it... Ooh, this was 1989. Or 79, sorry. Intro. Um, let's go with this one. Let's see. Race vlogs. I'm, I'm guessing this could be it. Okay, so if... You are watching this. I had to do a rough cut because I stupidly forgot to turn on the computer audio. So uh, let's actually watch this now. All irregularities will be handled by the forces controlling each dimension. Friends, you running heavy. Okay, now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be honest. I'm the guy talking. The guy who is talking. He that is not what is kind of spooking me out. You're gonna hear it pretty soon because, like I said, I had to. I had to re-record this because I stupidly forgot to turn on the computer audio. The background music. That's the shit that is starting to actually give me a little... It's like, uh, it's it's making me feel like I want to kind of scoot away. You know, like, I'm halfway expecting something to happen. So, let's continue on. The elements may not be used where there is life. Medium atomic weights are available. Gold, lead, copper. I'm getting a very, uh... It's it, it's kind of like a mixture of the Twilight Zone and early Star Trek, the original series, the, the series with Kirk and Spock. I'm getting kind of you know I I'm 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 getting kind of like a little a little bit a little bit spooked, you know. Jet, diamond, radium, sapphire, silver, and steel. Sapphire and steel have been assigned. Okay, yeah. So, I'm going to I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest, ladies and gentlemen. Zala Thron 20. He he was pretty on point with this. Yeah, that scared that was it didn't scare me. It spooked the shit out of me. It spooked the shit out of me. I I'm, I'm still kind of like, okay. Okay, yeah, the guy made his he made a good point here. Yeah, so I'm going to also put the link to this uh, link to this video the, to that video we just watched. I'm going to put it like up here in the corner. There you go, and that way you can click on it if you want. But yeah, that, that's kind of spooky. I gotta give you credit. It's good combination of like the Twilight Zone and Star Trek. Okay. Okay, everybody, we are now, uh, well, we are now at the part where I am responding to some comments from part one of four of my DSP gaming documentary, uh, react. So let's get to it. So the first, uh, question or first comment comes from Kairos OBJ. He says he, uh, that, uh, he thought the doc was solid, even learned some new lore. And I totally agree. A lot of the stuff towards the end, I'd say from the midpoint onward, I was already aware of. I was really kind of interested in that uh, fighting uh, the his FGC times, and honestly, that really did not shock me that much. It, it it's new lore for me, but looking at the way that Phil Burnell uh, acts when he plays Street Fighter Six. There is no way in fucking hell that Phil can actually act, or, well, he, he can say it, but it's not the truth. He can say, oh, that's just an act. I'm not like that. Bull fucking shit, you're not. Bull fucking shit, you're not. You are as bad as you were back during those times. When you can literally face against somebody on Street Fighter Six who is playing as the Kami, you get so enraged, you t literally say that that person should not exist. Yeah. Not a great person. You can fucking try to paint it that, oh, I'm just acting. This is just an act. No, it's not a fucking act. You may be able to play that shit off on your viewers. 
Don't try playing that shit off on people who know you, dude. Who has followed you for 16 motherfucking years. Don't play that shit. It's like I said earlier in this goddamn video. I'm like an STD test. You're not getting past me, dude. Okay. But yeah. So, and to which I uh, applied to, uh, replied to Kairos OBJ, and I said, I, I agreed. I learned a lot about the FGC. I think that June did an awesome job with this documentary. I, I have to say, for, for it being almost four hours, this documentary was pretty insightful. I got to give June the credit, cre uh, give him the credit, give June credit. He did an awesome fucking job, if you ask me. My, my hat goes off. I, I really don't wear a hat. I really should wear a hat because during the summer, the top of my head gets burned. You would not believe how sensitive the top of my head gets, you know, to the sun. But anyway, my hat, my figurative hat, you know, it goes off. This is me taking off my hat. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, you know what I mean. Okay, so the final comment for this, uh, this portion of the video regarding my uh, part one of four of the ESP gaming documentary. This comes from Lobster with and in, within internet or, or Lobster with internet. Sorry, sorry about that. Fucking smart lobster, if you ask me. If the lobster can have the internet, fuck. I respect the lobster. Anyway, it was a solid documentary. A couple of things I would add, but it was solid and reasonable. And I replied, considering how much Phil has done in uh, 16 plus years, I'm actually amazed that June was able to get. Uh, the video down to three plus hours while maintaining all the talking points that it had. He replied, after with internet replied, at G curse, yeah. A little heavy about the swatting and only tangently covered, covering the re reason why he moved to Washington in the first place. But you can't have everything. At which I have to say, that is the best, you know, best statement right there. You can't have everything. You can't have everything. We, you know, we... We we would like to have a lot more with that documentary, but three you know three plus hours, holy shit, that's a lot of stuff. And who knows, we may even get a follow up. We may get a follow up, uh, you know, to this documentary in a few years. You know, uh, he actually finished off with a question, and I think that it's because I think I mentioned the word resurrection, but he goes anyway. What's this about Kino being his resurrection? Now I think he, I think I may have said the word resurrection. And I, I, I used the wrong word. He uses, he likes to use a word. I can't recall what it is. It's not resurrection. Renaissance. He's, I think he said he, he likes to use the word, word, word. I'm Phil Burnell is having a renaissance. Everybody's fucking liking me. Wrong, motherfucker. Everybody is not liking you. The fact that I'm right here making this video alone is makes you to be factually fucking wrong. Makes you out to be factually fucking wrong. Everybody doesn't fucking like you, Phil. Anyway, but yeah, so that's basically what it is. Uh, Lobster with internet. Basically what it is, is that uh, he has become friends with this group called Kino Casino. And uh, basically, they're kind of using each other. Kino is using the uh, Phil for some laughs. And Phil is getting some uh, some money from Kino via their viewers. It's not a legitimate renaissance as uh, as Phil would like you to believe. And if if he was actually having a legitimate renaissance, why is he not having a lot more popular people on his podcast? Let's look at the let's look at the recent. Uh, appearance you know on his level one podcast he had keemstar keemstar is a fucking joke i call keemstar the king of the uh lol cows he's the king lol cow we have we had craig from the side scrollers on level one podcast which sadly it was not one of craig's best times but then again like like another uh person said Craig thought he was trying to help Phil. You cannot help Phil Burnell. You cannot help him. He doesn't want help. He wants your money. And he also wants ways, a way to fucking lord whatever uh, he feels that you did wrong to him. He wants to have that ability to kind of keep it over your head. 
Uh, let's see. This coming Friday the 13th. Oh, boy. Friday the 13th. He is actually supposed to have June the King on the Level 1 podcast. Now, I'm going to be at work, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm going to be at work, so I won't be able to see how this goes. If I'm, what I'm hoping, what I'm hoping, what I'm hoping is that June holds his ground. Because I'm pretty sure Phil is going to low key play the play the you know how much that hurt me card uh, when he starts talking to June, you know that thing you talked about Panda Lee, that hurt me. That hurt my viewers. Can you see the little fake tear um coming out of my eye? You talked about me and John. You talked about how you know I wasn't fair to John Rambo. That hurt my heart, brother. That hurt my heart. That hurt my viewers' hearts. You should apologize to me, June. Yeah, apologize. If June was fucking smart, he would say the same thing I would. Well, he'd be a lot more, more, more professional because, like I said yesterday when I started making this video, I'm not as... I'm not as I'm not like a a fine uh, uh scalpel. I'm not like a scalpel when I talk. I'm not like duty streams or Tevin or Mimology when he you know like well does Mimology really talk? I'm not like some of these other detractors that are that are pretty professional when they talk. I'm like a fucking sledgehammer. I'm like a goddamn sledgehammer. Now June. You know, he'll probably be, you know, be really uh, professional and say, Phil, everything that was in that video was verbatim from, you know, third-party sources that could back up what was claimed. A lot of the stuff came from your own mouth. That's why I'm hoping that June will, June will say that he will literally stand his ground and deny Phil that fucking object that he can use to, you know, lord over Jim. That was me. Like I said before, if he goes, Jeff, I demand an apology. Oh, I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. What? Oh, oh hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, 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 let me wipe my ears out. I could have just sworn I thought Phil said he wanted to kiss my ass. Oh, oh, he wanted me to apologize. <laughs> no, fuck that. No, no. But like I said, June the King is a lot more, uh, he's a lot more professional than I am. He, he you know, he, he's like a, he's like a, a, a scalpel. Me, I'm like, I'm like Negan's baseball bat. You want an apology? No. Fuck you. You can go get fucked. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, that's that. So let's finish off. Uh, let's see. Let me pull up my browser. Uh, comments. And this was Lobster with Internet. Still like that fucking name. I like that name. Let's see how many. This was on the. Oh, I. Oh, those are, I haven't responded, that's why I'm not showing. Okay, hold on, guys. I, I'm talking to myself. I, I talk to myself a lot. Jeff, that's not a sign of being sane. I never said I was sane. <laughs> you, you, you think somebody can follow Phil Burnell for 16 years and still have a little bit of mental sanity? Not me! <laughs> oh, God, my life sucks. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's see here. Where the hell is it? Okay, we are at. I'll just go. Comments. Okay, there we go. So let's do this. Let's, okay, so. Uh, like, art. Uh, let's see here. I may have used the wrong word. I think you may. Rod, what the fuck is Rod? Word there, thank you. Wrong word. I meant if, if 
you occurred day resurrection. I meant to say, oh god, I'm just gonna fucking eat. There's some words I just cannot fucking spell. Excuse me. Come on. Spell Renaissance. Got to be serious. Spell Renaissance. There you go. Uh, yeah, that's just some words I can't seem to fucking spell, and that's one of them. Okay, I may have used the wrong word if you heard me say re re a resurrection. I meant to say renaissance. Uh, in Bill's mind, he is having major turn around. He actually believes that everyone likes him now because uh had an interaction with Kino basically a few weeks ago two lol cows and invited another lol cow to their show and basically they are feeding off the other there is no real turn around. It's only a matter of time till our boy Filbert realizes that. There you go. Up, turn around. Third. And that is my reply to lobster with internet. Which I still gotta say, if that if that lobster can have internet. We're fucked because lobsters, you know, they shouldn't be having internet. Are, are lobsters going to be overtaking Skynet? Who knows? But anyway, so that was my reply to lobster with internet. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, up next, we have, uh, it's basically one comment uh, that has recently appeared on my uh, part two of my G Curse Reacts to DSP documentary. Uh, part two of four, and basically that comes from Yama Tokira fifty four. Oh my god, I think I may have got that right. I I looked at that so many times, and I fucking uh, I was worried that I was gonna butcher his name. If I still butchered it, I I really apologize though. But yeah, so anyway, and I actually got to fix that because I thought I thumbs up and did all that. So oh, there's your thumbs up and the heart. Just to show you that I did do it. Hold on. There, wait. There you go. So you can see that I actually gave it. It's just I forgot to actually do it at the time. Anyway. So he basically said, uh, at first he said he was vigorously scratching his leg. Oh, this, oh, this is in regards to the incident. <laughs> the incident. Now, to those who are not aware, if you're watching this, Basically, Phil got caught, uh, uh, mm, what's the best way I can say it? What's the best? He was caught, uh, exploring himself. Let, let's just leave it at that. Well, when he got, when he got, when he finished, when he finished, he realized the camera was on and he had this shit eating grin on his face like, The camera's been on. It's been on the whole time, huh? Hmm. Hello. <laughs> uh, but that's what that, that's the uh, context of what this is all going to be about. Yama Tokira fifty four said, and I quote: "At first, he said he's vigorously scratching his leg. Years later, he said he made this video up to get attention and eyes on his channel." It was a master plan of his. No, it wasn't. And I'm pretty sure our boy, Yama Tokira, 54, he, he agrees with me. I'm sure he agrees. But yeah, it's not a fucking master plan. Phil! What are you doing? What are you doing? It wasn't a fucking master plan. It's okay. It's okay to have those urges, Phil. 
it's okay. You're probably you're probably relieving some stress. You were probably thinking of uh you're probably thinking of panda at the time. You know, you're probably thinking of panda. And one thing led to another. You know, it's okay, dude. That, nothing to be ashamed of, man. Anyway. My reply was, oh shit, I didn't actually Okay, here I'm going to have to uh switch over so you can actually see what I all said because I forgot to exp expand it. My reply was, I still think Phil should have uh, really leaned into it. Now, this is one of the few times I've said, especially in this video, of the uh, react of the react me reacting to him. This is one of the few times I'm not really going to to really razz on Phil about. We all have those urges, ladies and gentlemen. There's been a couple times I'm not going to say when and by who, but there was a couple times that something embarrassing happened. And, you know, yeah, so I'm not going to get into it, but it, it happens to everyone. Anyway, my reply was, I think Phil should have really leaned into it. The incident really screamed marketability. Phil could have made shirts, hats, items with various sayings on it. Would it have lasted forever? No. But he could have made some serious cash on it while... Uh, it was being mentioned. I honestly would have bought a shirt that had the caption. Oh, the camera's on. It's been on the whole time, huh? Uh, like I said in the video, uh, we've all done something uh, that was embarrassing. So I'm not really going to razz on the guy for that incident. On the ladder of heinous things that Phil has done, the incident is pretty low. Like I said, I'm not going to really make fun of the guy because of that. Phil has done a lot worse stuff that really needs to be uh that really needs to be called out. Yama Tokira 54 replies saying, he's too sensitive on anything pointed towards him. He has to keep his godlike inability, uh keep being godlike in uh inability in his own mind, which is why so many detractor channels are or were being struck down by his dented minions. Totally agreed. Totally agreed. Phil, he, it goes back to what I said before. He's a narcissist. As much as he doesn't like to say it, I remember a time that he was actually, I think it was a Street Fighter. He was playing Street Fighter. And he, it was one of the few times he had his uh, headset on and he had my, uh, game audio on or game chat. And somebody came into that uh, the room and just tore into Phil. Bill Bernal, DSP Gaming is a self-centered, narcissistic asshole, and he just went on. And Phil, he really couldn't do anything except he kind of like let out like a little bit of a smile because he knew, he knew that the guy was talking, you know, legitimate, you know, it was all, it was all true. The guy is spitting pure fire. That's what I was trying to say. He's spitting pure fire. And Phil literally couldn't do anything just to, <laughs> and then when the guy got done, I think Phil blocked him or some shit. But yeah, Phil, he, he he's ego he's egomaniacal to be honest. You cannot look at Phil and the way he treats people, especially his friends, and think, oh yeah, that Phil Burnell guy, he's totally well adjusted. No, the guy is fucked up in the head. He just doesn't want to admit it. Okay, so I just want to say thank you to Yama Tokiro Tokira, sorry Tokira. 54 for the comment and you know i hope you all have a you have a great day detractor dude uh so that is wait, wait, hold on ah oh come on oh that's right i'm on this still there it goes okay so that was it for this stay tuned and i will be right back with the final section and then i'm going to start getting this this is probably going to be a long video i'm going to get this motherfucker uploaded and processed and all that shit so stay tuned and i'll be right back Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have, why am I saying welcome back? These are going to be quick clips next to each other, or whatever that means. But anyway, I don't even know what I'm fucking saying. It's a little bit before 6.30, and I'm, I'm tired. I work a long day at work, and I'm, I'm, I'm just wanting to get this, get this video done. I've been working on it for about two days now, and we're, I'm almost at the end. I can literally see it, ladies and gentlemen. I can literally see the end. And the end is me getting banned or blocked 
on X.com from Phil Burnell. That that's right. You are hearing this correctly. Phil Burnell blocked me on X.com. Yes, I know he blocks a lot of people, but I found this fucking hilarious. <laughs> so uh, this last Saturday, I think it was. I, w- I was really just razzing on Phil. I mean, I was just I was I was just having so much fun. And the thing is, you, you, Phil, Phil Phil will call low tier God a pussy. He will he will block or he will kick stuttering Craig out of uh the out of his podcast. Phil will do a lot of shit. He he claims he's a tough guy. So what is it that you're wondering that made it that he p- got so pissed at little old me that he blocked me on Twitch or on X? Here's what it was. Ready? Three, two, one. S- surrogate mother. <laughs> Basically, I was really kind of just, I was really just kind of talking about how Phil doesn't treat his wife with enough respect. And then I started saying how Phil basically, he doesn't want a wife. Phil Burnell doesn't want a wife, ladies and gentlemen. He wants a surrogate mother. He wants somebody to clean for him, to uh, to feed him, to pamper him. He wants another mother, basically. He doesn't want a wife. He wants a mother. And that's where I came up with this. Hashtag surrogate mother. We really need to start making this motherfucker pop. Anyway. Yeah, so I started talking about this, and I started using this hashtag, and oh my god, as you can see here, the results were fucking precious. I got blocked by Phil Burnell on X. Yesterday was a great day. Not yesterday, but Saturday. Yesterday was a great day to be Jeff. (laughs) Yeah, so anyway, so yeah. So first up, we have a comment. From uh, did I, oh, I think I already did a reply to him. Hold on, yep, I already did. So I'm gonna show it. Uh, so basically, he goes, he rage built it himself. <laughs> he did. He did. Phil doesn't know how to fucking just ignore people. He doesn't know how to ignore people. I. The thing is, if he just ignored me. I would have fucking left after a few uh, hours of just constantly talking. To so, but no, the motherfucker blocked me. He gave me what I wanted, which was a reaction. Phil doesn't realize that that's what we, you know, besides just basically pointing out the shit that Phil does, we also kind of do it like the, I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Until he finally snaps and the motherfucker snapped. He, he blocked me. He blocked me. <laughs> Uh, like like I said yesterday, I don't view myself even as an average, uh, as an average detractor. I'm low tier to be honest. I'm I'm not I'm not even up there. I'm low. I'm low. I'm way down there. But yeah, it, it kind of it kind of made me feel good. You wanna know why it made me feel good? Here, I'll tell you why it made me feel good. I, it made me feel good because deep down. He saw that surrogate mother tag. And then he saw what I said about how he doesn't want a wife. He wants another mother. And that pissed him off so much. He blocked me. And yeah, he blocked me. Congratulations, Phil. You blocked me. But the fact is, knowing how self-centered and egotistical he is, he's going to go to bed for the next few nights with that hashtag in his fucking head. And then he's going to open his eyes up. He's going to look over. He's going to see Cat. He's going to look back up at the ceiling. And he's going to go like, surrogate mother. Surrogate mother. Surrogate mother. Oh my god, is he correct? <laughs> he blocked me, but I got that little time bomb in his head. He felt it himself. But anyway, so. Anyway, so I did reply to him. I just didn't uh, screen cap it. I said... Phil Burnell, a.k.a. DSP Gaming, is his own worst enemy. When he thinks he is filthing someone, he's actually doing it to himself. This shows Phil hasn't learned anything over his 16 years on, on, on this platform. And he really hasn't. Really hasn't. And then I, I finish up by saying, big ups to you. 
Hope you are having a great day, dude. And I and I hope he is. I hope he is. I hope he is having a great day. And this was I didn't mention the guy's name. I think it is Black Review or Black and I think that is supposed to be just a space, but Black Review. Yeah. So so that is it for this one. I'll be right back. Okay. So as I'm as you well as I said before and as you'll see throughout this video. Some of the some of the shortest messages are often the most awesome. At which I bring to you Levance Levance uh 345. He said, and I quote, Welcome to Ban World. <laughs> I'm loving it here, dude. I'm loving it here. I'm already setting up my penthouse. I got a little bit of a garden. <laughs> I love it in Ban World. I love Ban World. Population 10 million awesome detractors. I, I love it fucking here. I love it here. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. This, and then I'm going to reply to him with this and that, as always, because he's, you know, a pretty cool uh, oh, comment that he made. Oh, I fucking love it here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting having a nice drink to end the long work day. Smiley face. There you go. Yeah, I, sometimes it's the short it's the short comments that really are the best, yeah. But yeah. Welcome to Bad World. You can't get any more awesome than that. Welcome to the bad world. And and the thing is, I'm I'm here with a whole bunch of other like-minded people. Okay, up next we have a I'm not sure if the person I'll be honest. I'm not sure if the person was just kind of razzing on me. I'm 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 not I'll be I'll be honest. I don't know if the person was razzing on me or if they were just, you know, trying to get one over on your boy Jeff aka Jeekers. They may have or maybe sincere. I just don't know the answer to this. I don't. I don't. Hold on. Let me actually take this off. I don't need these on anymore because I don't think I have any more videos. I'm going to be doing right away. But yeah, so. Uh, yeah, so I don't know how. I did not know how to reply to this. So I did it in the only way I knew how. So let's go on with it. So let's go with. Boom. Lorraine McFly. He says. I used to watch your channel when I was a kid, and this video just brought me back. Laughing face. I, or, or crying face. How the fuck do you respond to that? You know, like, so So I was nice. I said, and I even gave them a thumbs up or a, an up vote and the heart, you know. My reply was, say hi to Marty for <laughs> I, I don't know how to fucking reply to that. Like, like. I'm glad you like my entertainment, I hope. <laughs> but yeah, say hi to Marty for me. Okay, we are now at the final comment of this entire video. And to those who have been watching this long video, I hope you guys are getting a good laugh. I'm also going to put the chapters in the description so you can go back and forth if you want. But yeah, so you know, let let's end this video on a you know on a good a high note, basically. So we have wait no not that one. There we go. We have Razor Sharp fifty six forty three, and he says typical DSP. He loves to talk smack about others, but when it's the other way around, dude's a victim now. <laughs> Fucking nailed it, dude. Razor Sharp fifty six forty three nailed it. I have never seen a cheetah. Or is it a leopard? I can't recall. I think it's a leopard. Le leopard never changes his spots. Bill can change his fucking spots. One minute he is Mr. Tough Badass calling people pussies, telling them that they should end their life. And then when you have somebody like me throwing out, uh, throwing this little ditty out, <laughs> he gets so offended he starts blocking people. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've never seen a motherfucker change. Spots, stripes, whatever, so fucking quickly. Yeah. Okay, so I, I like to look at Phil Burnell and think of Phil as, you know, Phil is what 
you is what you would get if you ordered a badass from Wish. <laughs> Go to Wish. And, I want a badass. Income. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay, so let's actually switch over to this. Go, there we go, and I have never seen the motherfucker. Uh, let's see, which from badass to victim? Yeah, let's victim. Badass to victim and point zero 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 zero. Five seconds. He really should go into the book records for being able to play the victim card as often as he does. There he goes. Yeah, but next time you watch Street Fighter, uh, him play Street Fighter, Watch him. He will talk shit. Bad shit. And then when somebody starts pushing his putting his shit or pushing his shit back in, he will fucking play the motherfucking victim. Just watch. You'll be amazed how quickly it is. Like, ha ah, ha motherfucker. I'm, I'm, the guy is abusing me. Ha 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 motherfucker. Pussy. I'm, I don't like this. I don't like this. That little motherfucker shit in his life. This ain't fair. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. Uh, here, let's actually switch back over to this, turn this off, turn that off, and go back to this. I finally did it. I finally did a comment reaction video, and I, I understand that a lot of people, uh, probably you know, that there, there's a lot of replies. And I'm sorry I did not get to yours. These are kind of like the most recent uh, replies that I did, you know, that I got. So, but yeah, uh, when I get a little bit more, a few more replies, I'll do another one of these videos. I just want to say thank you to everybody who has taken the time to subscribe to my channel. I just recently hit 480, and that means a lot to me. That means a lot. It means that a lot of you guys are fucking awesome. And uh, so when I hit 500, now let me actually here, let me pull this up. I'm going to pull up another uh, play capture. Okay, so I figured when I get to 500 subscribers, when I get to 500 subscribers, I saw something on uh, a YouTuber, his name is Stone Gremlin Productions. He uh, recently had something called Oreo Coke, uh, Coke, or something like that. Let's see. Um, limited limited edition Oreo Coca Cola sandwich cookies. Okay, well, I I saw the cookies at a nearby grocery store, but I was interested in the soda. Here, is there actually a a better picture? Hold on. So if I can find the pictures, I may just buy the 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 uh, I may buy the the cookies. I'd really like to try the uh, the soda. So once I I'm going to buy one of these, and once I hit 500, I'm going to be trying it as a reward to you guys. Say thank you, and I'll give you like my little react and let you know what I think. You know, a, a G Chris tries video, I guess you could call it. But yeah, so that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you have enjoyed this long video. As I said before, if you like what you watch, feel free to click that subscribe button. It's gonna there's gonna be a little graphic right here. It's gonna say subscribe. You know, subscribe right here, right here. See, see it's right here, right here. Anyway, I will see you next time. My name is Jeff, aka G Curse. Wishing you all a great day. Stay safe and have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Peace out.